I'm just going to make a short introduction to Lucy, so we kind of put her in the picture, in the context. And then I will leave the floor to you, and afterwards I will come back and moderate the discussion. And a very long time ago, I started working here at the School of Arts and Communication. Actually, it was not here, it was there, but here at Malmö University. It was 98. And there, were, was a lot of, there was a lot of people working in HCI and participatory design uh, in the design field when I came <laughs> to, to the school. So I think the reference made to Lucy Suchman, when I think back of it, the reference to Lucy Suchman and especially your book, Plans and Situated Actions, I think it, it came up so often that when I think back, I think I more breathed the book <laughs> than actually read it. And for me, the first time I really myself dug deeper into the thinking of Lucy Suchman was actually when I, a little bit later, got hold of the rather short paper, Located Accountabilities in Technology Production. And I came across it because I had also started to be convinced of the usefulness in the combination of feminist epistemology, epistemology <laughs> that's an awfully hard <laughs> word, <laughs> <laughs> and the kind of thinking in terms of socio-technological <coughs> entanglements that had emerged in the field of science and technology studies at that time. And I thought this combination was very useful when it come to came to practice-based research in design, in the design area and in interaction design specifically where I was in. And I thought this rather short paper was an extremely, for me, extremely useful and important tool for doing and thinking in the area of, of interaction design. And I know it has been a very important tool for many other people as well that are trying to take notions of agency and accountability seriously when it comes to design and technology production. But maybe we then should start with, with you instead. <laughs> Lucy Suchman graduated as a PhD from Berkeley quite a long time ago, 84. And your dissertation was exactly this book, Plans and Situated Actions, that three years later, 87, came out, was published as a book on Cambridge University Press. And it has been a very influential book. And the 20 subsequent years, you worked at Xerox Palto Alto Research Center also in California, where Lucy Suchman was one of the co-founders of an interdisciplinary research group called Work Practice and Technology Area. And there Lucy Suchman continued this work. She started off in Plans and Situated Actions with kind of the idea of a critical stance towards what kind of assumptions are made about human action and communication when it comes to kind of technology, the combination of humans and, and technology. And in this interdisciplinary research group, there was a combination of ethnographic studies and experimental and participatory kind of interventions that led to, resulted in new prototypes for information systems in a quite broad area. And this work has been extremely influential when it comes to ethnographic analysis, conversational ana analysis and practice, participatory design practi practices, especially in the fields of HCI and interaction design. But for quite some time now, Lucy Suchman <coughs> has been the professor of in anthropology, which is also your <coughs> kind of original uh, field of study, at Lancaster University, where she's one of uh, co-directing uh, the Center of Science Studies together with Adrian McKenzie. But your Lucy Suchman is also affiliated to the Center for Gender and Women's Studies at Lancaster University, which is important to point out, I think. Lucy Suchman has got a number of research awards. I will not go into them all. Uh, she has also had a number of other affiliations to King's College in London, to the University of Technology in Sydney, to the IT University in Copenhagen. And from tomorrow, she will be appointed the honorary doctorate of uh, Malmö University as well. I think we'll, Malmö University is most certainly very happy to do that. <laughs> and she has throughout <coughs> continued working on questions about how mm -hmm. humans and machines are thought of, um, or technological objects are thought of and enacted, both how they are enacted in similar ways and how they are enacted in different ways in practice. And 
particularly looking at what kind of consequences does these assumptions and enactments actually have on a political level or an ethical level. And I also learned now that you're on the, quite recently, you're on the board of, right now I will look for the world, the, the <coughs> monitoring, International Committee of the Robert Arms Control. And I'm mentioning mm. it here just to point out that these kinds of assumptions and the consequences actually they are not innocent. They are most urgent and, and sometimes even lethal uh, questions lying in these uh, kinds of issues. The concept of situated cognition is still very central to Lucy Sachman's work. The idea that the environment and embodiment are central to our cognitive processes. In 2007, there was a book published called Human Machine Reconfiguration that actually was it's an annotated version of plans and situated actions, but it also contains five additional chapters, which kind of tries to cover the, the more recent developments. And I think we have to bear in mind that, that the dissertation thesis came in 84, and that in January that year, there was the first Apple <laughs> Macintosh computer. So during this period, we really had, had an <coughs> explosion of the whole notion of the information mm -hmm. age and digital media has happened. Mm -hmm. And the notion of, of situated entanglements, I think it's so interesting that this word entanglement seems to be a favorite word of a <laughs> lot of thinkers <laughs> in this area. Haraway keeps mentioning it, Latour also uses the word of entanglement, and I think you could find it in a lot of other places as well. The notion of situated entanglements of, of bodies and, and technology is also very central. And this is what I gather your talk will be about, these kinds of entanglements when it comes to digital media. So I'll leave the floor to you. Thank <laughs> you very much. And you can add yourself if I okay. missed anything out. <laughs> yes, thank you for that lovely introduction.